Yeah, what an outstanding result for uh, Paul Massara and Team Hortensia here on uh, the richest race meeting in the world night uh, with the alcohol spread going to Hortensia. And it's quite an extraordinary story, Paul. You're sort of pinching yourself. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome. Uh, it's just quite an unbelievable feeling on a massive night uh, where all things can go wrong, but nothing did. I was saying to you earlier, I mean, uh, Coolmore wins uh, one race, Godolphin wins one, and then Paul Massara and the, and the uh, Emma and uh, Alice, they get away with it. Yeah, something for the Aussies. Pretty good fun. Um, and the story goes back to when she came to Arrowfield and thought, well, that's the end of her racing career. And here she is with two Group 1s and one on the biggest world stage. Yeah, absolutely. It's amazing. I mean, uh, when, when she came, Alistair did have uh, ideas of retiring her. And uh, he said, I'll see how she goes. Well, you're just down the road, so we'll see what happens. And here we are. You hey, came here really confident, didn't you? We spoke to you during the week and you knew how she was and where she's at. The horse was really healthy. Got over here, settled in, did particularly well. Almost too well. I had to back... Back off the feed midweek this week. I thought she was looking a bit big, but um, so she got here. And that's three quarters of got here healthy. And that's three quarters of the tra the problem when you travel these horses is how well they do when they arrive. And she did particularly well and thrived in the environment. And the results were on the board. Watching the race, what did you think? She got a long way back, but I think you and Craig had a pretty much uh, enshrined plan. Yeah, we had a plan. The one thing that I've noted about this horse since I've had her is she can't accelerate changing direction. It's really important you get her out when, she, when you're ready to go and make sure you have a straight path before you ask her the question. And uh, he did that today. Uh, we're probably a little bit further back than I'd expected. I thought she'd be in touch a little bit closer. But uh, with all these races, they always go harder than you think. And, uh, and she had some ground to make up at the 300. I suppose you haven't really had a chance to uh, soak it up and sort of analyse what it really means to you as a result and you as a trainer, really. No, not yet, but you look up here and pretty quickly uh, you realise where you are and uh, the significance of the event and uh, it's a massive thrill for anyone and you can put me in that category, I'm just as happy as anyone else would be. Not over yet though? No, not yet, probably off to Ascot now with her for the, uh, the Kingstand Stakes uh, on the Tuesday and uh, that'll be exciting. Good on you Paul, well done. Thank you, thank you.